Hi everyone, it is Hana from Haikam Accounting again. Welcome back to my Tuesday Tax Tip channel. And the topic for this week is for e-commerce business owners. Five accounting tips that e-commerce business owners should know. The number of e-commerce businesses has been increasing a lot. After COVID-19, there's a lot of business owners want to do their business online. So if you are e-commerce business still confusing about accounting, I hope the video today will help you. E-commerce has so many aspects of it. An e-commerce business owner could be selling internationally in America, European, or could be selling locally in Australia through Amazon, eBay, or Facebook. So it is not easy to map out which business structure to set up for e-commerce business owners. Hence, always consult an accountant first to set up the right business structure before starting anything else with your business. Unlike any other kinds of businesses, an e-commerce business normally has more than one bank account or multiple payment gateways like PayPal, Stripe or Afterpay. It's also more complicating if the business owners decided to sell from Amazon overseas. So there will be payment from different methods as well. This creates the complexity in accounting and bookkeeping. If accountants do not understand the nature of the business, it is easy to miss out. Normal businesses can prove their income from invoices that sent to customers. However, it is different for e-commerce businesses. Um, all the selling platforms like Shopify, eBay or Amazon will automatically issue an invoice to customers as long as an order is made. So, as business owners, you do not need to send invoices for your customer to avoid double invoicing. However, it is important for you to understand this part. Accountants helping e-commerce businesses also need to understand that these selling platforms will allow business owners to print out sales reports or inventory reports. Consolidating these reports with the sale from bank statements is not an easy task. However, as business owners, you need to ask your accountant technical questions about e-commerce to make sure that they understand. The next thing is GST and this is the cheeky part. For e-commerce businesses, GST is not just about if you make more than 75,000 per year, but it's also about where does your sale come from? From Australia or overseas? Where do you source your product, locally or internationally? Some e-commerce businesses have the combination of everything, which makes it a lot more complicating. So e-commerce business is also doing a lot of online advertising through Facebook ads or Google ads. You need to make sure that your advertising accounts are provided with your ABN because if you do not provide your ABN, it will immediately be charged with GST. So check your advertising accounts and also talk with your accountants. Other expenses that are also very typical for e-commerce businesses like working from home because I know there's a lot of e-commerce business owners operating your businesses from home or advertising fees through Facebook or Google or merchant processing fees through Stripe or PayPal or training fees that you take online courses or online training so make sure that you keep all the invoices so you won't miss out on any expenses to avoid paying high tax. So if you are e-commerce business owners or looking at opening up your e-commerce businesses, I hope you have learned something today. Apart from Google ranking, Facebook algorithm or great marketing skill, accounting is a really important part. Highcom Accounting will be able to help you to make your financial decisions for your e-commerce businesses. So Get in touch with us today and thank you so much. See you next week.